Hi, and still good morning here from Urangia Bowling Club. Um, they started this match a little bit earlier. Most of the players were done with tea quite quickly, so um, progressing quite quickly in the, the time frame. Um, so in our next featured match, we have um, Eden versus Mapumalanga on rink A2. And Eden will have control of the jack. They bowled the jack round about to the um, 28 meter mark. It's now the seconds on the mat. Yarku Stander against Peter Schwanepoel. Now Peter Swanepoel's dad is right next to the green supporting and yeah he, he is there he's cheering at the back cheering his son on um, and we have uh, Jarku Sander on the mat now uh, Albert again um, bringing us some famous Omar Roy cook sisters from Mpumalanga so thank you Tani Gerda Swanepoel um, I think I need to go and check in my family recipe. Maybe um, we are related somewhere. But I have to say, they are very delicious cook sisters. Uh, we have to, to we have the umpire Henry PNC next to us who wants to to take uh, one of the um, cook sisters onto the green when he has to measure again, <laughs> so he can be on the camera with the cook sisters and be famous. <laughs> All fun and games, nice festive atmosphere. Um, looks like Mapumalanga is holding this shot. Let's see what Donay does here. Just running through. Lovely yellow balls by Donay. We have Arthur Partridge. His sister, Linda, is playing lead for this side. See what Danae does here. Yeah. She had a good l line on the previous ball. Great weight on this one. Maybe just a bit short, but uh, great adjustment. Let's see what Arthur does here. Yeah. Arthur playing on his backhand. Just cutting the center line. The wind is blowing from that side, so you can see there's quite a, a big bend um, from that side for those um, who are non bowlers. Uh, a lawn bowl has a, a, a bend um, on them, it's called their bias, um, and that is caused basically by the shape of the ball. It's not like there's a weight or something inside the ball. Um, if you have a look at a ball, you'll see. Um, it has one shoulder that's a bit higher than the other, so the center of gravity is moved uh, from the center line, and that basically, as soon as the ball slows down um, and loses momentum, it falls over to um, the side where the center of gravity is, and that causes the bias uh, and the turn. Um, anyone who starts bowling, the first time you see that ball bend onto the jack, um, is a wonderful feeling. Feel like you can control the whole world. Let's see what few does here. Now I see we have a scammer again, George Jack. Please don't in the comments. So please don't um, follow his links. Uh, if you want to watch the lawn bowls, you can watch them for free on our Facebook or YouTube channel. No need to enter any of your details or or go on to any weird um, player page or something. It's all available for free on Facebook and YouTube, so please just be aware. Don't 
click on any links in the comments. We don't post links in the comments ourselves. We even had a, a, a fake uh, profile created for Bowls One Sport for Life. Um, who try to make a few comments um, that people follow him to make it look a little bit more official. So the current score, Mapumalanga on one, Eden on zero. So Mapumalanga has control of the jack. Remember this jack has to be at least 23 meters from the front line of the mat to be considered a legal jack. And this is on the center line. She's rolled it perfectly straight, um, uh, Linda. And it's quite a long end. I think it's very close to the two meter mark. Will Linda's ball stay alive? Unfortunately, just going into the ditch there. We have Marky Kronje or Korje for Eden. And that's a wonderful start just behind the jack. Putting the pressure on Mapumalanga. Hopefully we'll see a comment from uh, Omar Roy's owner, Gerda Swanepoel. We're really going to enjoy your Cook Sisters after this game. A wonderful ball there by Linda. Getting D-shot. Let's see what Marky does here. He had a great line on the previous one. If he adds a little bit more weight and rests on that ball of Linda. Uh, just missing his line slightly. And now we have Peter Swanepoel. <coughs> mm. Nice delivery on the, the forehand. Will that one bend? Yes, it's going to bend nicely. Whoa, is that going to be the, the shot? Just short, but it's in the way. Great line. Yarku. With his orange balls. Oh, will he get around that green ball? Oh, just falling short. But great line again. Let's see if Peter can add that half a meter. Now going wide. But we'll, if that one stays on the green, it's in a good position at the back. Remember, burnt ends. Not that we've seen many burnt ends from the under 15s. Uh, are respotted on the two meter mark. Let's see what Yarku does here. Yarku Stadler. Oh, one covering the two meter mark there. And it's up to the thirds. Danae Dempsey against Arthur Partridge. First on the mat will be Arthur. Of his blue balls. On the forehand. Stain showing um, Dunay where she wants that ball to go. Kayla Stain has been at this tournament quite a few times. Very experienced player. See what the offer does here. 
Oh, will that one bend in? No, unfortunately not. Just playing for the win and the win not taking it. Let's see what Donay does here. He's playing with a bit more weight and going narrow as well. Oh. Of course, he's just promoting Peter Swanepoel's bowl up. Yeah, now it's up to the skips. It still looks like it is Eden just just holding. Let's see what Kayla does here. Just running into a bit of traffic. A few Ingram. Now these are under 15s, as you can see at the back of their shirts, sponsored by Omar Roy Cook Sisters. So being on the live stream is great experience uh, or great opportunity um, for districts to maybe get sponsorships for the few youngsters in the future. So that's why it's so important that you like and share and uh, follow us um, and comment, because that gives us the opportunity as Bowl South Africa as well to approach sponsors and say, well, this is what you're going to get for your money. You're going to get so many views and so many reach on Facebook and YouTube. Yeah, that's one, two. Two more Puma Langa. So they move on to two. So that ball of Peter was just promoted enough to be in play. I remember unlike yesterday um, this is play straight play t 10 ends and they're only playing 10 ends only points for the win we have Linda here yeah. Oh, getting a touch. Uh, wonderful start. It's going a bit narrow there. Marky has to pl take the win into account. Let's see what Linda does here on her backhand. Yeah, she's looking good. She's looking really good. What a wonderful draw there. Really putting the pressure on from the Mapumalanga lead. A brother off her playing third for the side. Oh, and Moki doesn't look happy about that one. Ah, oh, holding his head. 
almost looks embarrassed as he's standing there, but that happens in bowls sometimes. See what Yarku does here. Orange balls are always in the count. And is in play. Yaku Stadler does here. Yeah. So room to draw in here. Yeah. Just going a bit wide. Now remember to comment where you're watching from and who you're supporting in this match. I'm sure we have quite a Yaku asking us to show the manager. Um, he's keeping well away from the camera. Um, I hear his um, scale norm so, uh, is Captain Kirk. I mean, that's probably who you're referring to as Popsock. Made MC, yeah. Just running through great lines again. Offer. Oh, just running through, almost getting a touch there. Yeah, so far I'm only seeing support for Eden, so I wonder where the Mampumalanga support is. We're not seeing any support on the stream. Hi, Omar. I've done a hard swanapul. Hi. Yeah, from Omar Roy, Cook Sisters. Yeah, we we had some of those Cook Sisters the other day, and are very delicious. So as I was saying, I was finger lack lacker. My son, what Friday for you are it? He had a little freezing geniet op sy verjaardag. Here we have. Kayla Stein, very experienced bowler. He's been to this tournament quite a few times. Oh. This looks to be on a good line. Will he get it on the inside? Oh, yes, promoting uh, Dunay's bowl up onto the jack, just behind the jack. So they are holding shot. Now Fio is coming up to the head just to have a look at what's available.
On rink one, we have City Bing versus Wisdom Province. And on rink three, we have Southern Freeside against Sables. We'll give you score updates when they reach the halfway point. Remember, they're playing 10 ends. Yeah, now that is looking a lot better for the support for Mapumalanga. Yeah, one ball has been taken out yet, yeah, to nice ball, having a look at second shot. Yeah, another ball being taken out there by Arthur. But just the two, so it's all peels after three ends, two, two. Eden opting for a shorter length here. Yeah? Marky just rolling about to the 25 meter mark. The mat just in front of the 2 meter mark. So they're playing about between 24, 24 and a half meters. Marky on a good road here, just needs another meter. And uh, just running through, but great lines again. She's really finding a line this morning. Yeah, Mark here. Has he added that meter? It looks like it. Oh, what a wonderful position there. Just behind the jack. Probably off a meter behind from my angle. Of Ralph support for the uh, Mapumalanga and some support for Eden as well. Remember to, to drop us your comments where you're watching from. And if you are uh, live streaming this or putting this live stream on a screen at the club for everybody to enjoy. Alta letting us know that the whole of Ermelua is in front of their TVs enjoying this game. Go Yarku. Esther supporting um, uh, Yarku from Beaufort West, his grandmother. 
that's a lovely thing about being able to bring you these live streams um, is everybody around the country who can't get to Bloemfontein can enjoy seeing the kids or the grandkids or friends and family or club members in action here yeah Peter Swanepoel just running through there but a great position at the back and I think he is holding this shot probably it's difficult to see from our angle it's, I think it's between that green ball of his and uh, probably that black ball next to the orange one which was uh, Marky's uh, second ball uh, we have Donay Dempsey will she go outside that or uh, unfortunately just cutting the center line and hitting that ball in the road now we have all to offer yeah Just running through there. Those front balls will be in the eye of the players. Now as the skips go to the mat, FK lost stain. Nice pretty socks. It's lovely to see the colorful foot gear along with the socks at the Junior Nationals. I'm also seeing it happening at the Inter Districts and everyone. Not just the plain white shoes anymore. Hello, just running there into a bit of traffic. See what Fio does here. Looks like he's just trying to draw onto that balls. With a bit of weight, getting onto that uh, black and orange balls and uh, resting against them. So he just needs to get inside that outside black ball. It's a difficult line to get, especially with the wind blowing. Kayla, yeah. Looks to be on a good road. Will she pick up the jack? Will she pick up the jack? Oh, what a wonderful ball. Getting that ball out of the way. So now I think it's probably Eden holding one. And Fio has changed his hand. That has definitely changed the situation. Unfortunately, just going across the line. Now it's up to the freeze. How much are they willing to give? And orange ball is in count. Black ball is also in count. I think probably Kayla's ball as well. This might be a multiple. Now they're going to have a measure for that third one. Oh, we were talking in the break, uh, me and my wife, about how great it was uh, the number three from uh, Western Province in the previous match. Uh, all, whenever she went down for the measure, first propped the jack just to make sure that it can't move around. So, let's see, this is a multiple. It looks like it might be three. Yes, yeah, four, indicated by. Dune. I'll just wait for confirmation on the scoreboard. So Eden taking the lead here as we get close to the halfway point.
points completed. Yeah, and they moved on to six. Or five, sorry. So it was just a three. On his second ball, will he draw it close? Yes, it's not far off. Linda Partridge, yeah. Yarku, yeah. Just falling short, great lines. Peter Swanepoel. And I think that is the shot. Number one. As you can see, quite a bit of support next to the greens between the managers, the parents, brothers and sisters. Right, Francois, well done to Eden there, getting that three points, taking the lead. That one I think is going to be a bit narrow. By Arthur. Dunay has really had a good game so far. He's on a great line again. Yeah, and Dunay has drawn the shot. Like I said, she's really had a good game. Oh, almost working there for Arthur. I think Danae is still holding shots. She's really had a good game, I think. So far, she's my player of the match. Really, really consistent. Those yellow balls are always in the head. Now, if you're enjoying this live stream, remember to, to like and comment and put it onto your wall as well. So we can show our sport to non-bowlers, your friends and family. 
It showed him that Lawn Bowls has changed its image. Kayla with a good ball at the back. Now Jenny, that was a wonderful shot. See what Kayla does here. Yeah. Looks a bit narrow. But that ball is holding out a little bit. The wind is really helping her. Oh, well, she's just falling short there. But Dunay's Dunez ball still holding the shot. Let's see what Fio does here. He doesn't look happy from the mat. Yeah, he's definitely cut the center line. So he's not happy with that ball. Just the one, and Eden move on to six. As we reach the halfway mark, five ends completed, six two. Let's quickly give you an update on what's happening on the other rings, on ring one. Yeah, on rink one, we have City Bang versus Western Province. Current score there after five ends, 5-3. Five, and our featured match, current score 6-2 after five. Sun and Free State against uh, Sables. They're busy with the fifth end, so current score there is 4-2. Then we have on rink four, we have City Bang versus Burland. Current score there is 3-3. Three, three. And then on uh, rink five, we have JBA versus BGN. The current score there, 12 3. And then on rink five, current score between Ikuraleni and Western Province, 3-3. Three, three. It looks like they just picked up a five. So they move on to eight for Western Province. And then we have BGN versus Southern Free State. Current score there, all peels after four ends. Back to the action here. Yeah. We have Linda's ball just behind the jack, and Malky, I think, is holding shot probably with the front ball. It's difficult to see, unfortunately, they're standing in the way. But it might just be that back ball as well. It's difficult to see from these angles. I'm looking at it from three different angles, and I can't. This thing is which one of those three balls is currently holding. There's a Marky's black ball there in front and we have Linda's purple ball at the back. Let's see Peter Swanepoel. Yeah. Oh, almost getting onto the toucher. <laughs> his dad cheering him on there from the back. I think along with his dad, I think the whole of Ermelo is.
Now we're joined here in the commentary box by the Gauteng President uh, Sonet Kritzinger. Um, uh, uh, it's nice to have you in the commentary box. We're not going to talk about the players because uh, uh, it's not one of our your, your teams. Um, but yeah, um, wonderful to have you here, part of the tournament committee as well. Um, Gauteng Bowl is doing a lot of uh, promotion of the sport, your team that side. Tell us a little bit about, about how that got started. Thank you, Jacques. Um, nice to be here with you on this beautiful day. We've got a lovely, cool day here. Um, I started in um, as president of Gauteng Bowls in October last year. Um, and um, the first thing we did was do our media correctly. So I appointed three ladies. Um, it's Chantelle Grotto, Chantelle Nell, and Henry uh, Ellis from Delmas. So I need 10 people for media, but they are brilliant ladies. And they start marketing the, the um, Gauteng Bowls. Um, what they did is they, everything we see, all the provinces must send all the information, all the district must send the information. And it's unbelievable how media can change the outlook of people. So yes, um, that was the right place to start. But yes, there's lots of work and we're waiting to see what's happening next. Yeah, and um, I have to see uh, the districts from Gauteng playing at this tournament, um, all doing well as well. I see JBA at the under 15s, they really doing well under the uh, mentorship of Terry, um, and also Sables and City Bang and BGN. Um, any support that you gave them from your side? Okay, what we do, um, we give the, peop uh, the players the youth money to come here. Yeah, we do from Gauteng Bowl side. Um, the money that's coming in from Gauteng Open, uh, we use that for our youth um, per district. Um, we've got a maximum teams that we can pay for. Um, but what's wonderful, I think, from Gauteng Bowl side now is that all five districts are working together. So um, we decided to start with different committees. We had a development committee, a youth committee, a marketing committee, a tournament committee. So I think that's fantastic for the um, for bowls because all the districts are working together now. And it's absolutely super to see what's happening in our district. Now, and your first time being on the tournament committee at this tournament, you've been on many tournament committees, hosting the Masters quite a few times. How many times were you uh, involved at the Masters in, in, in BGN? Um, I've been the convener of the Masters, I think, five or six times at BGN. Um, I've done the Nationals um, a few times. I've been with the, the Interdistricts I never did um, because I usually with the ladies playing. Um, but yeah, this year is my first year with the um, youth and it's absolutely an eye-opener. It's fantastic to see these young people. They are so beautiful. They are so... The passion. Ah, it's lovely to see them. I'm tired just looking at them. So yeah, it's a fantastic experience. Yeah, and they're really playing some great bowls, I have to say. Um, I think... Uh, I made the comment the other day to one of the parents, um, I don't want to play these kids when they have 10 years more experience uh, at this level um, because they're already playing some brilliant shots, especially, especially these under 15s. They're so cute and, and they're really playing their hearts out. Oh, and they're so small. <laughs> I just want to give them a draggy. They are so beautiful. Um, but yes, the way the, 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 the small guys, there's one guy from Southern Free State, the skip there, and my, oh my, does he give instructions. The players know exactly what to do and what he wants. So it's beautiful seeing these people. 
Yeah, and, 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 and it's also nice to see, uh, well, we always comment that um, when we arrive here at the tournament, the first thing the, the kids do is they meet up with old friends from other districts and then they get onto the green. So it's about the, the com com camaraderie between the districts and making new friends, but also the serious part of playing bowls. Uh, definitely, and this they, this tournament gives them the opportunity to do everything. Um, it's absolutely lovely to see the the people when they get here um, and see the friends from last year, um, and they immediately I've got they've still got WhatsApp groups. Um, uh, during the whole year, they talk to each other and um, planning this tournament. So yes, I think it's absolutely fantastic to see these things happening, and so wonderful to be a part of this. Yeah, and and. Coming up in a in a short while, it's scouting open time again. Yeah, so everybody. <laughs> this is a, so, um, and and the nice thing with the scouting open, uh, I don't know. I've played from the Northern Cape. I've played the scouting open, so it's open for all the districts. Yeah, definitely, it's open for all. It's the biggest tournament in um, South Africa. So please, yes, come and play. We will um, soon start to um, give you all the dates. Um, the this year again, there will be a disability. Um, a part there will be a youth and then the Gauteng Open the Gauteng Open we only have mixed pairs we have pairs we have uh, fours and that's yeah fours and singles um, there's no trips there but it's a lovely tournament um, it helps you with rankings so it's wonderful to see the people coming there and and come to the, the city of gold and the province of gold and to join us there oh, so JBA hold, uh, hosting it this year JBA is hosting the men's national and they are hosting the um, Gauteng Open it's lovely we've got lovely stuff for you you'll come and have a look um, it will bra be brand new um, looking at new stuff for the flip books so yeah just watch the space we will definitely let you know. Yeah, and we'll we'll be sharing any information we get on our page as well. Um, we're working hand in hand with the Gauteng Bowls ladies. Uh, they're helping us out quite a lot and promoting the sport, making my job a little bit easier because I can share quite a lot of their stuff now these days. I don't have to create all my own stuff. Um, so yeah, it's wonderful uh, the initiative from Gauteng Bowls under your leadership. And yeah, I hope you're enjoying the tournament. Uh, 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 Almost time to get ready for your scoreboards again, um, but I see there's a few in still to go. Um, so, and so if you're wondering why we get the scores um, updated so quickly, Sunet is one of the the ladies who makes sure the scores get entered as quickly as possible and gets out to the public as soon as possible. So she's the one to thank for that. And thank you, Jacques. Um, yeah, um, the ladies from Gauteng Bowls Media are absolutely brilliant. Um, without them, I will not be able to run the district. So thank you very much to those three ladies. Um, love you and thank you all for your hard work. Sometimes half past five in the morning, they're already up and chatting to say what they're going to do for the day. Um, but thank you so much for having me here and enjoy the rest of the tournament. Yeah, thank you, Sonet, for joining us in the commentary.
Ja, da auch so. Eden ist auf A. Okay, so current score there, just quickly I had to go and sort the camera out at the back. The current score, Eden 8. Current score 8 3. Basically three ends to go, this one and two more. They're currently on the eighth end. A wonderful draw there by Peter Schwanepoel. Yeah, if you are in the Bloemfontein area, why don't you come and uh, have a look at some of the youngsters in action. Like Zeldine Fulyun. Come and watch the the youngsters in action. Tomorrow we'll be doing the finals tomorrow morning. <laughs> oh, thanks, Sune. Just quickly had to run around. Hopefully you didn't miss me too much. You know, what a lovely way to spend a Sunday afternoon watching these youngsters in on in action all the way from Oostudente here in Bloemfontein on your big screen or your small screen being able to watch it on both uh, Facebook and YouTube And this tournament made possible by the department's um, sports, arts and culture. No, don't worry. Oh, Kayla. Oh, what a ball there by Kayla. Kayla Stein showing experience there. Getting on to that shot ball, popping the jack out. So now they're holding one, probably two. Yeah, I think her ball is also count in the count. Pressure on few, yeah, few getting the shot. Just needs to move that ball out of the way. Oh. All that one stay in, they'll have a look. Here we have opportunity to draw another one close. Ah, oh, unfortunately well just running through. So it's just the one. Now yeah, one to Mapumalanga, so they move on to four. And score four eight. Of two ends to go. Still a lot of balls that can Still change the outlook of this match. 
Mpumalanga will want to pick up at least a one or a two on this next end, if possible even more. Yeah, just be aware we have um, another scammer on our page, um, Carla Hudson, uh, Houston. Please don't go to any of those links. Just ignore them. Uh, that was a wonderful ball there by um, Kayla Stein. See what Linda does here. Oh, wonderful start, especially on this longer end. This is probably the longest they've played during the matches on the two meter mark. Maybe a tactic. Wonderful draw there by Marky. Now Peter Swanepoel, yeah, opportunity. He's drawn the shot at the back on his previous bowl. The difficulty is quite a few bodies in the way, yeah from all our angles. Uh, see the back angle, at least we can see a little bit better for you guys. Oh, it's all about the weight, yeah. Oh, unfortunately, just getting a touch onto that ball, but I think it might be one of his own balls that he's promoted up there. I think it's Linda's ball. Now it looks like they might be holding two, yeah. The Molonga sign, like I said, they need at least a one or a two, yeah. Actually, a three would be the, the least that they would be looking for. Just to get into a more comfortable range on the last end. But I'm sure Danae will have a, a word or two say about this. She's been playing brilliantly today. But first on we have Arthur opportunity to draw another one close and really pile on the pressure. We can draw another one in here. This looks to be on a good line. Oh, just a bit heavy, but a great line again. Let's see what Danae does here. Oh, what a ball there by Danae again. Yeah, that's a brilliant ball by Danae. At least second shot there. That's exactly what Eden would want. They don't want to give more than one. Danae, you have opportunity again. Uh, uh, he looks a little bit 
perplexed by this one, but I don't think she's too far off. Uh, just a bit wide. And she's done her job. She's got on that second shot. Now it's up to the skips. Now we're up to almost 90 viewers on face on, on YouTube. Let's quickly have a look how many we have on Facebook. Uh, close to 50 on Facebook as well. Gayla, with all the experience, she won't be far off. Oh. <laughs> Danae asking that one to sit. Just stay there. We have Kurt walking up and down the green. Very nervous. Who will win this one, Mapumalanga or Eden? Let us know in the comments. Fani Brits thinks it's going to be Mapumalanga. Adam also thinks it's going to be Mapumalanga. See what Fio can do here. He needs a multiple in this end to make his job a lot easier. Will that one come in? Will it come in? Oh, so close! Now Kayla with the last ball. Mina thinks it's going to be Eden. Marlene Kutsi also thinks it's going to be Eden. Janae for Eden. And who will it be? One end to go after this ball. Yeah, Danae <laughs> edging this one on. R really excited, really excited. Will it be close? Will it be close? Oh, so close. Yeah, it's just the one. Having a look. I'm going to ask for the measure just to make sure. Oh, taking one out. Having a look at second. Having a good look here. Young Kumi measuring. It's just the one. Two more Pumalanga, so they move on to five. Within three, with one in to go, will this be another close one? Yesterday we had one 
our final match at the under 25s going down right to the wire, basically to the last bowl. Well, we have a similar repeat here. Now Pumalanga deciding to go for a longer end. This is probably about on the 28, 27 meter mark. Oh, quite a few supporters from Mapumalanga. We're free to go. They need free on this last end to tie, so they need four to win. Will Marky put one close and put the pressure on? He's been given the opportunity here. Yeah. That one's bending back nicely and he's drawn the shot. And still lots of room to draw into. <laughs> the ladies from Eden edging Marky on. Now we have Peter Swanepoel. His dad at the back, standing up. <laughs> and then we have the poor guy from Sables trying to get his, his sweets wrapper. <laughs> Having his ball won for a little bit of energy. Bought here from the Snoopy here at Urangia Bowling Club. Wonderful venue for this tournament. <laughs> oh, great ball there by um, Jarku. Jarku Stadler. Now oh, Peter Swanepoel. Oh, he's there trying to pull out the brakes there at the back as well. Eden looking quite happy here. They have the shot balls. Now it's up to the thirds. Let's see what Arthur can do here. <laughs> the Nay being quite nervous here as she's played well. Yeah, changing her hand, resetting herself. I have to say, so far she's been my lady of the match. And she's not far off here. Will she miss that front ball? Oh, if she just goes on the outside, she's on that jack. That was the perfect weight. Oh, one. It's difficult playing into the wind. Yeah, she's playing her original hand that she wanted to play. Oh, 
Will she have the weight? She's not far off. She's not far off on this one. Oh, just falling short. Great line. The question is, where can Fio find four shots here? He has the two best back bowls. And to the side, he also has two bowls. So his best option might be trying to move the jack. But that's not easy. He has to move it a full three meters. Just a normal draw. Playing on the forehand. Yeah, and he's drawn this shot. That's one, he needs four. <laughs> Very animated lady, this. Um, Donay DMC really enjoying her on the green. Okay, like, yeah, this is going to be a close one. Oh, what an attempt. Yeah, that's a good position as well. That second shot and no, probably third shot. Rancho is not going to be happy about that one. Well, I think at most they only have two. Yeah. A wonderful match here by Eden and Mapumalanga. Both teams really playing very well under very difficult conditions. I have to say this wind is not easy to play in. And they both teams, the final score I think is going to be 8-6. Um, I think they only picked up the one. So yeah, you know, con players congratulating each other. And I think both teams can be very proud of their accomplishment in this match. Um, I think probably my m lady of the match is um, Donay Dempsey. Whenever it was needed, those yellow balls were in the head. And then we had the, the skip. Um, Kayla Stein, very experienced bowler. So yeah, we're going to sign off. We're going to get ready for our next match after lunch. That match will be Western Province against Sables. I can quickly give you a quick update on the scores of the rink next door. Uh, on rink three, we have Norman Freeset against Sables, who will be f our next team on this rink. And I think that score is seven... Can't see the the sable score, but Southern Free State has seven. But yeah, um, we'll be quickly just changing our cameras and going around. Um, and we'll see you after lunch. <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. Bye bye.